ancient Greek alarm clock stuns researchers with 2,000-year-old technology. The ancient Greeks invented many modern-day gadgets, including the alarm clock, something millions around the world rely on to this day. Ancient Greece, the source of some of the world's most puzzling treasures, the civilization was around for thousands of years and its people were some of the most advanced of their time. Pumping money and resources into the arts and sciences, the Greeks created and thought up many of the things used in modern society. Many of the structures they built remained as strong as when they were erected, perhaps the most famous being the Acropolis of Athens, the Athenon's Parthenon. They also created a number of smaller, unlikely devices, including what's believed to be the world's first man-made alarm clock. While ancient Greek engineer Cecivius is said to have constructed something that resembled the alarm clock in ancient Egypt, it's Plato who is cited with taking the basic design and thrusting it into modernity. And the story goes that he was unhappy with one of his students at the academy who kept oversleeping and missing class. He took Cecivius's creation, which made a use of a glass or pressurized air to use water to drop pedals to signal a certain time, and added the, a tube to the filling vessel. And in doing so, Plato fashioned a siphon inside the clock. And so when the water got high enough to fill the tube and start to spill over, all of the water was siphoned off into another vessel. This vessel was largely closed off, but had thin openings, making it whistle like a tea kettle when it filled up quickly. The invention worked, and people soon began using it as an alarm clock to wake them up on time. There are other inventions that the Greeks uh, came up with far beyond their time. One, believe it or not, is a fully automated robot made which could serve guests at a dinner party. In the third century BC, the elite a society were introduced to automate Therapenis, first mentioned by Philo Byzantius. The maid was often a life-size doll that held an, a wine jug in one hand, its other hand free to receive a drinking vessel. And inside, a mechanism allowed the transfer of wine and water from two separate jugs that fed into the jug she held. And as a vessel was placed into her free hand, Two pots inside her body interred and distributed the weight, with a tube passing along her hand to help the liquid on its way out. Another set of tubes ran through the free hand, the one at the top uh, that the, the cup would sit in, which helped the liquid pass through by using air. When a person placed a drinking cup in the maid's free hand, the wine would be dispensed as the weight would push her left hand down and the key tubes were lifted. The whole of one tube was a light with the air tube connecting to the container holding the wine, forcing air into it and wide to flow into the jug. And a hole in the second, aligned with the air channel of the container holding the water, would simultaneously dilute the wine with water if desired. And when the cup was filled, the hand holding it continued to sink because of the weight and the passage of the water's air channel was blocked so it stopped. And this is on uh, Express UK by Joel Day. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. My Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.